Welcome back. Today we're going to be working on the club car present and we're going to be installing a Navitas controller. Now this club car present has a stock motor in it, so we'll be installing a Navitas 440. If that club car present had a high speed motor or a high torque, we'd be installing the Navitas 600 amp. One of the great things about this, it is Bluetooth. That's right. You can actually download an app, see what's going on with your controller, and make adjustments. Now, we've taken the body off this car so you can actually see what we're doing. So, let's go ahead and get started. We'll put the car into tow, and then next we will remove a battery terminal. Now we'll remove this bolt using our T40 Torx bit. Now with a piece of cardboard here to protect this from the batteries, we will pull back and lift up. Now we can start disassembling all the cables from our controller. Now we'll start by disconnecting our four prong. This one will no longer be used. Now for the F1 and the F2. Now for the large cables. Now using a half inch socket, we'll remove all the other cables. And we've got the green and yellow, which is marked on the controller B+. The black wire. I mean the white wire, which is marked as M minus. And then the two black wires here is marked B minus. Now we can remove the controller. Now let's install our new Navitas controller. It'll mount in the very same spot as that last one. Now we can reconnect our cables. First with the B minus, which were our two black cables. Now our M, which was our white cable. And our B plus, which is the yellow and green cable. Then we have orange, which is the F1. And the blue, which is the F2. Next is our main harness, which our personality chip will actually plug into the controller. We plug our main harness here. This one will be used if we have an on-the-fly programmer, but today we're not using this. Next, let's go cut out a portion of a box cover back here in the back so that this can poke through. Okay, before we put our new controller in, we've actually got to cut out a section right here for the new harness to fit through. So the first thing we'll want to do is measure over from the edge. We'll put a mark at four inches and a mark at seven inches. Then we'll measure straight up three inches. And lastly, we want to come with a mark just above these cutouts, say about an eighth inch. So we're gonna use some masking tape and actually tape the area that I wanna cut out. Okay, now we can get our Dremel and start cutting.
Now then, we'll remove the tape and we can install the controller. Now that we got the hole dremeled out, let's go ahead and remove the personality chip. Slide it down to get ready and replace this panel. Okay, now we put our bolt back to secure this panel and then we'll put our bottom cover back on. Okay, next we'll go ahead and hook up our wire. Now we can put it back into run and take it for a ride. And that is how you install a Navitas 440 controller on the Club Car President. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com and make sure to check out our other videos.